In the transform area of the Properties Inspector, you can resize, rotate, or apply 3D transforms to selected objects. To apply transform properties, I'll begin by selecting the objects on the canvas using the Selection tool. I can easily rotate objects when I hover over an edge of the object and the Rotate icon is visible. I can also come in and flip any of the content I have selected, either horizontally, vertically, or both. Once I'm done making my changes visually on the design canvas, I can always come in and refine my work here in the Properties Inspector with more exact values. Another nice feature in the Transform panel is the ability to create scroll groups or collections of objects that scroll within their own viewport or window. To create a scroll group, I'll come in and start by selecting the content. Then here in the Properties Inspector, I'll click on the direction I'd like the group to scroll in. In this case, I'll go with Horizontal. Notice the group of objects now have a blue dotted line selection with handles on the left and right. I can resize the scrolling window by dragging each of those handles. Now when I bring up the desktop preview, I can scroll within the artboards horizontally to see all of the icons within. The cube icon in the upper right hand corner of the transform area enables 3D or three dimensional transforms. To activate it, I need to select some content on the canvas. I've got this first tile selected. Next, I'll come into the Properties Inspector and toggle on the 3D Transform icon. Notice the control that appears in the center of the selected objects. This gizmo allows me to visually come in and make some perspective changes. Like other Property Inspector features, I can always come here into the Properties Inspector and refine any of the values that I've defined. And that's a quick review of the Transform features within the Properties Inspector.